Okay, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go over there. Thank you. As they go closer, eh? Thank you so much. Once again, my name is Jeff. I'm just here to communicate and here to know your story. I have a box right here. You can use it to say words. And feel free to come through and communicate if you want to. And I have another device right here. It's called a flashlight. You can use it to show me that you're here with me. So feel free to use any of my devices got a green light right there on the desk you got a red light on the bed got another music box right here if you go in front of it look it's gonna play some music so feel free we all know about the music box <laughs> once again my name is Jeff hello or you can call me Jean-Francois. I'd rather be called Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. Can you go for the black stick near it? It's called a flashlight. Probably know what it is. Can you put your energy into it and try to light it up? Emma. Another E name. Yeah. And I had Sarah when I was in uh, near uh, Henry singing uh, mm -hmm. cell. Well, that cell block was the original woman's cell block. Oh, okay. That's why. That's why. Do you have a message to pass to Emma? Colin. Colin. Not a name. Usually I have names like that in graveyards. Well, we're six feet under. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to leave Jeff alone in here? Do you want me to walk away? Do you want Elliot to go? Or do you want Elliot to stay? I know you're all sick of me. <laughs> Over four years of coming here and filling the place up with hundreds of people. I'm feeling if I walk away, You'll start doing things for Jeff. Probably. Jeff is new. He's never been here before. And I'm a veteran. So if you want to talk, if you were former army yourself, like Mr. Seguin and Mr. Balakon, if you want to talk. He's very nice to you guys. Unlike some people who come here to talk to you. Probably some of them are really rude, but I'm polite. I respect you because you were there before me. I know you did some crimes, you did some horrible things, but what, that was in the past. You see how quiet it is now? Yeah. Like nothing. But then if I walk away, I think the music might play. It's like they try to call you back. Like, after I leave, like, let's say I'll leave you, you know, just let's say we stick around for another 45 minutes, I'll give you 15 minutes in here for your session, I'll come back 15 minutes in the hall, and then yeah. we'll do your SC session. Cool, yeah. And, um... I was conjured. <laughs> conjured? How? Did you say conjured? Yeah, I was conjured. That's a weird word. Hmm. Weird phrase to use. Here, yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> conjuring... So it could have been disturbing the grave, the burial, conjured her. Probably. Could be the stories of the children seeing the lady conjured the entity. Could mean a lot of things. And, and, and sometimes... But try, try walking away when you're here alone into the hall. 
and you just leave your cameras rolling. That's when we get a lot of stuff going on. So okay. they call you back in. And they're hearing me say that right now, so they may not do that. Okay. That's what I've noticed. So I'll go back to the governor's residence where we have your session. Okay. Um, I hate my walk back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. So Elliot is going now. So if you want to communicate with me, please feel free. Everything here is armless. You probably already know it. Yes, just like that. It makes sounds, lights, just to show you that you're here with me, okay? I'm here to come. Welsh? Where are you Welsh? Yes. So you came from Wales. Wow. That's a long way. What period were you alive? Were you alive in the 1800s? Yes. The early part of the 1800s? Or the later part? Or the mid 1800s? About 1850? 1860? If I have the right decade, can you? Go near that red light, please. Okay. So the jail was built in 1833. So were you here in the 1830s? Were you here in the 1840s? In the 1850s? Eighteen seventy. Oh yeah, I forgot the eighteen sixties. No, eighteen eighty. Chair. chair. Yes, I'm sitting in the chair. Do you want? Do you want the chair? I can't leave you the chair. Go ahead, please sit down. Go ahead. I'm gonna take this one, okay? I'm gonna pull myself a chair with you, okay? There you go. Like that, we can communicate, right? Can you go in front of the music box? You're probably shy, okay. I'm gonna step out, leave you to it. Okay? Gotcha. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the hallway, okay? Listen. I'm just here to know what you said. Listen. Yes, I'm gonna listen, okay. I'm gonna sit right here, and I'm listening. That was my stomach. Movement. 
please. Can you walk out the hallway, please? I want to hear you walk. I want to know, are you a man? Or a lady? If you're a man, can you go near that red light on the bed? Or if you're a lady, can you turn on the flashlight? The grave. The grave? Was your grave disrupted? Did somebody move your grave? That's why you're upset? I know that right here we're apart on the ground. Was your grave around here? don't talk that much, right? Probably because you don't know me. I'm really nice. I won't provoke you. I won't you call uh, I won't call you bad names. I will respect you. Even if you did some horrible things, you committed some crimes and I can understand in a certain way. But I'm pretty sure that everything is in the past. I'm pretty sure that you were forgiven for your sins. So one temperature is going up and the other one is going down. This one is going up. And Illegal. Yes, you did some illegal stuff. That's why you ended up in jail. Thank you. Whatever what that was. Thank you so much. Can you do that again, please? Thank you. Again? That temperature is going down and the other one is going up. That is weird. What? Drink? <laughs> Pressure change. Thank you. Yes, I would appreciate a drink. Do you want me to offer, do you want, offer me something? I would gladly take a drink of you. If it's not tainted. <laughs> I know that one of you, or probably a couple of you, likes to go in front of the music box. Can you go in front of the music box?
just to have that music play? Pressure change again. And temperatures keep keeps dropping. It's dropping again. Are you affect Eric? Hello Eric. Are you affecting the temperature, Eric? Are, are you the one dropping the temperature? Can you increase it on the other one? I think uh, some of you are shy. No, please leave. <laughs> Why do you want me to leave? I just want to communicate with you. Okay, probably that you're tired of having a bunch of people coming through, asking you a bunch of questions, and trying to make you light up those things and make that music box play. I understand and it's probably pretty tiring, but most of us that come here want to understand and we want to know what is after. I want to understand where we go after we pass away. I want, in a way, reassure myself. Can you prove me that it's life after death, please? You know that red light on the bed that you were going for? Can you go again for it? You know that thing on the bed right there? Right here, just like that. It doesn't hurt. It's just lights and sounds. Just like that, that is a flashlight. You just tap on it like I did. Look, just turned on. And right there, you got a cat ball. Phenomena. Phenomena, yes. I want to see a phenomena. I want to see something. Can you turn off the flashlight, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, it's not hard. It's easy stuff for you. It's just to help me communicate with you. When you go in front of that music box and, met, and make that music play, it tells me that you're here with me. When you go for that red light on the bed, it tells me that you're there with me. When you open up that flashlight or you close it down, it tells me that you're here with me. That's all. That green light's the same, all those things. Just to help me communicate with you. That's all. Guys, like always, like I, always say we can't force them we can't say it's not they're not freaking circus animals they used to be human beings so we have to treat them like they were human beings so thank you thank you for the flashlight thank you so much wow can you turn it off please now same thing just take your energy out of it. Thank you. So this stuff take off when I left? Or? Not really. No, it, it went, but one thing weird. Did you hear me? No. Can you do a, not some sound again, but louder? Okay? Your EDI is going up. Mine is going down. That's weird, man. That's weird, man. 
Yours went from 60 to 61, and mine is still going down. We don't know what the exact room temperature is. Anymore. No. We must want to grab another device just to see. Just to see, but it's weird <laughs> that the other one goes up and the other one comes down. It's pretty cool in here. It feels closer to 61 than it does. 68. Dead 68, yes. But then I have an older version, and you have the newer version. Yeah, I but. The original. Maybe yours is more accurate. But it, it, it Dom, my friend Dom from 13 Spirits Paranormal, he, he's got the same that you got. Yeah. And we had a temperature difference about four degrees. Emilia. You name it, yeah. Not again. You name it. Emilia. I had Eric coming through. Well, Eric is my partner here in Femmes of Viewer. Oh, well, he's looking. I have no please leave. <laughs> Phenomena, did you hear me? I had the grave. After you uh, uh, left, I had Welsh. I asked if, it, if he came from Wales and I had a rampart hit. Hmm. Is the person from Wales still here? Thank you. From Wales? Yes, Welsh. A Welsh person is a person that comes from Wales. And I'm trying I, to think if we had any English. I mean, there would have been, especially in the 19th century, lots it, of English. Exactly. And um, that's why I ask if he was, a, he was here around in the, the 1800s. So it could be <laughs> going back to when the, this structure was a barracks. Or probably he came from a boat. And he just he landed. Jailed. I mean, Cornwall is a port town. And probably he just landed here and did a petty crime and got caught and got sent here. Maybe one of the many, many deaths. Exactly. Know, Another name, Mabel. Mabel. <laughs> Keep it, like tickling around my neck. Oh, yeah? Well, let's check out the hall. Yep. It's late. So we're going to move on. Thank you Inside for. The That's a pressure, the pressure change. And I had many pressure change here. Yeah. Yep. We'll leave the music box on while we're in the hall. Because yep. sometimes when we're down there, we can hear it. Then before we go, we'll put that on the live feed. We'll bring the music box to the live feed. Yep. I think that'll be something cool to leave there just in case something moves. And especially if it goes and you hear the, that sound. <laughs> so thank you so much for everything. For the flashlight, for the ramp pod, thank you so much. It was really appreciated. Can the ramp pod go off again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you go again for that red light, please? Near? Just go near it, please. Just one last time, and I'm gone. Pretty, please? No? Okay. I was asking. I'm like that. I'm polite. I don't aggravate. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, I didn't turn on the skull for you. Oh, it's good. I had good responses with this one and, and pressure change again. So I've put some toys on the ground. I have a box right here you can use to say words. I'm gonna lay it right here on that other box. You got a stick here, it's called a flashlight. You can use it to light. There you go. You can turn it on and off. There you go, like that. You have machines all over the place. You have a red light right there. If you go near it, just like that, it's gonna tell me that you're here with me. All right? Feel free. My name is Jeff. I'm here to communicate. I wanna hear your story. I wanna know, is there life after death? So Psychic Medium for a TV show two years ago came down here and was confronted by a man who jumped out at her 
and she said that she got this awful taste in her mouth. So if you think about Henry's again and the cyanide and what that must have tasted like when he ingested it. So I thought that was interesting because I never told her about any of this stuff. She said that the woman's here, she's crying, and then he's here and he's more plain with, with you. Hmm. He's trying to get your attention. So I'll leave you down here on your own again. No for problem. 10 minutes and then we'll go do the last session. And uh, cool. I want to be here just so you can experience the, the noise, the sounds down here. I'm going to sit right there. I'm going to listen at two words. And another for, name. And listen for that music box so it goes off in the distance. Yeah. I had another name, Phil. And I have I move things. If I you move, move things? Yes, if you move things. We're talking about the game, the things he does. Oh well. If you move things, go ahead, please. I have devices on the ground right there you can use. Everything here is harmless. It's just here to help me communicate with you. Okay? Once again, my name is Jeff or Jean-Francois. You can call me Jeff. All my friends call me Jeff. Our remains. Your remains? Are you still buried in the courtyard? If you're still buried in the courtyard, thank you for the flashlight. Thank you so much. Can you turn it off, please? Just take your energy out of it. Just take all your energy out of it. It's going to turn off. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. If you're upstairs, come down, please. Can you walk on the metal stairs, please? You like it here. And that music that you heard, guys, that was my alarm that says it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Is it time to go to bed? Is it the call? Is it the lights out call? Did the guards say lights out? You don't like it when the guards say lights out, right? You see, you like it here. Why do you like it? Is it because you're with people or you see different people all the time? Trigger. trigger. Do you want a trigger object? Do you want me to get cuff on something? T. 
team or team? Team. Huh? What kind of team? Hockey team? Did you like the Maple Leafs? Or the Montreal Canadiens? I personally like the Canadians. I like the Leafs as well. They're in the playoffs. Hello, Evelyn. Or is it somebody that has a message for Evelyn? Is that it? Do you have a message for Evelyn? Go ahead. Tell me. I'm going to get your message through. If you want to knock on something or make sounds, please do so. Be my guest. Thank you for the flashlight. That's so cool. So you seem to like more the flashlight than your friends were doing, right? Important. Yes, light is important. That could have been useful, right? That little light that could have been useful in your cell? If you think that could have been useful, can you turn it off? Thank you. Can you go again for that red light on the ground? Or if you go up the steps, if you go past it, it's gonna flash. Can you go up the steps to the old courthouse? Can you take the, the way to, to go up? Stay here. If you want me to stay, I can't stay, but I cannot stay all night, and we'll have to go. Elliot is kind enough to give me some time, and I really appreciate. And I really appreciate the communication that you are giving me. But we really really like it if you would knock on something or make a big sound. I would really appreciate it. Or turn on the flashlight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate everything that you're giving me. Can you turn it off and go for that real green light under it? Turn off the flashlight. Can you go? There's a little green light under the flashlight on the ground. If you go near it, it's going to go up. Or you can go for the red light back there. The round thing with the middle stick.
that round thing with a metal stick and the red light, it's called a RAM pod. It's just a device with sounds and lights to show me that you're here with me. What? My name is Jeff. I'm a veteran. I'm a paranormal researcher. I'm here to know if... I want to know the truth. I want to know if there's life after death. I want to prove to the world that you exist. Can you show to the world Can you go back to the flashlight and turn it on? You, see, you seem to be liking the flashlight. Or the torch, I might say. Nicholas. Hello, Nicholas. My name is Jeff. Can you go near one of my devices to show me that you're here with me, Nicholas? Or do you have a message for Nicholas? Tradition. Which tradition? Can you tell me? You had a, do you add a family tradition that you miss? So is your body still in the grounds? Can you light up one of my devices to, sh to tell me that your body is still here in the grounds? Just to be sure, I want to understand. What? Raymond, hello Raymond. Or should I say Raymond? Are you French? Est-ce que tu es français? Est-ce que tu es québécois? Hello, Raymond. Can you go to one of my Devices, please, Raymond. Oh boy. I think I'm a little bit tired because I'm starting to stutter. And when I stutter, it's because I'm starting to get really, get really tired. So, please feel free. I know that you were coming through earlier. You were playing with the flashlight, you were playing with the rampa. Have you left? Well, I would really appreciate if you would stay with me. Clark, Clark another name! Not their name, guys. Clark. Hello, Clark. Wow. It's so bizarre. It's name after names. Could it be Raymond Clark? Is that it? Is that your name, Raymond Clark? Or is it Raymond and Clark?
wow guys it's wow it's so weird I've been getting names like in St. James but St. James is graveyard I know there are people burying in grounds but Raymond or Clark are you buried here on the grounds can you go near one of my devices? Huh? Everything is harmless. Senses? Yes. Okay. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to listen. Okay? Go ahead. Thank you for the flashlight. But I would really appreciate if you would make a sound, okay? I'm closing my eyes. Pressure change. Okay, you can turn off the flashlight now. Experience I had more interaction with the flashlight this time than I had any anywhere else. Here or in all places? Right here. It's the third time I had it uh, light up and close. Intelligent though? Like yep. To you? Yep. How's your REM pod? REM pod, I had a couple of hits. Like somebody would go like up and down the stairs. Sick. And again, I had a bunch of names. Names, names, uh, Clark, Raymond. Clark? Yeah. Well, you remember who Clark is? Remember the apps, his father and, and, and uh, sister? Oh, yeah. Clark Brown? Yeah. Clark Brown, are you here? Can you go near that red light? Join us. One day, not now. I had Evelyn, Nicholas, Raymond, and Clark. And I had, I like it here. And like always, I kick the freaking gad ball. <laughs> I had sick senses. They never found me. Tradition, who are you? <laughs> Stay here. Equality, important. Evelyn, team, trigger. I like it here. <laughs> so, if you don't play with my toys again, I'm gonna move on, okay? Liam. Liam, another. <laughs> it's strange, man. I remember what I told you when I was told. Yeah. Liam, if it's you, can you turn off the flashlight that you just turned on? Please. Just take your energy out of it. Is it someone else then, Liam? If there's anyone else than Liam, can you turn off the flashlight? Thank you. Henry, is this you? I'm agitated. You're agitated? Oh. Is it because I'm here with Jeff? Turn on the light. Can you turn on the flashlight if you're agitated because Elliot is here with me? Or go for the ramp pod? Or you pressure change on the ADI? Are you agitated because I'm questioning you? Is that it? Catball. I'm still around. You're still around? You're still around? Even though you're agitated. You're agitated, but you still stay around. Who is agitated? Is it the woman? Elizabeth? 
Elizabeth. Eliza. Is it you? Can you go near a toy to show us that it's you? Is it Thomas who's irritated? Or is it Clark? Clark Brown? Henry? Oh, he said gay. So I call Lou? Are you the agitated one? You're usually not very agitated. Are you agitated, Henry? Because we're asking questions? Is that it? Is it because we pose des questions que tu pas ça? James, are you here? Are you agitated? Harriet. Another name. Another lady. Whoa, it's weird. Well, I'm going to carry on because Elliot time is really precious and I don't want to take so too much. So thank you so much. Henry, Ari, if it was you, c'est à toi, merci. Thank you so much and just come up i'm gonna do what we call an estes method i'm gonna put headphones and if you want to talk to me go ahead french or english all right that's good she killed us she killed us yes i don't have any female murderers here oh But, or maybe in terms of like overpowering them so they can't that, communicate. That was not me. It could have been. It was when you stepped over it. Yeah? So the vibration of hitting the concrete. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Debunk. <laughs> well, you can always have you on camera and see if it went off before your foot landed. Yeah. Because when it went off, it went off. It was the first time since I started that the cat ball went off. And even... This was the first time you've ever seen the cat ball turn around? That's the first time my cat ball went off in probably 10 investigations. Huh. Well, they always go off here. Uh, I haven't... <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Thank you. Well... Well... I guess I'll need the questions. Alright, well we come to the end of the night now. We hosted Jeff, thank you very much. You gave him some interactions. Is there anything you want to say to him before we leave? Because this is our goodbye session. You've done this before. I know you know how it works. I kiss you. Is this the female? Are you still with us here? Hard something? The body? Who is it that wants to kiss Jeff? How did you feel about Jeff being here? Can you give me a number between 1 and 10? spent the most time with Jeff tonight out of all the spirits here. Were the children here with Jeff? 
Rising. Henry, did you enjoy the money? You still? Is there anything you want to say? To I feel. I'll leave you. Are you okay with Jeff leaving you? Alors qu'une femme, a late. He was very kind and nice to you this evening. More so than many that come through here. Did you appreciate his time? Who is? Assignation, assignation. What the hell is that sound? Did that make my heart jump? I'm straight up young. Hell. It's okay. You're okay? It didn't sound like you're okay, whatever the hell that noise was. I hope the audio captured that. That was insane. Just hearing like steps over there. Who's over there? Who made that sound? I hear you. Well, yeah, I hope you can hear me. I heard you. That was something... I heard I devil. That is something I've never heard here before, ever. I hope Jeff's audio got that. Like, whatever it was, it sounded like it was rushing. So I hear real. Outside, hey, to hold on, what I'm doing. What are you doing over there? What was that sound? Most wanted. Who are you? Are you here? Are you here? Mais qu'est-ce que je fais ici? What I'm doing here? I don't even want to walk down there to see what the hell that was. Why? Win one. Oh! See, and what Jeff just did is nothing like that pop scare sound, whatever, is nothing to what I just heard over there. That is unreal. I really hope the live audio got that out. Let me out. Let you out of jail? I'm gonna have. What are you gonna have if you get out of jail? I'm 
look over there. Moment. I hear you. This is hell. The model, the model. Don't like it. Well, if you guys want to uh, you just want to do it again, feel free. Leave. We're about to leave. I think I might interrupt Jeff now. I mean, I think we've got enough from whatever the hell that was. You're the one. I'm the one? You want Jeff to stay? You went there? You want Jeff to stay? Just say stay. You want me to leave? Say my name. Well, Go five. How about five? Five spirits? To all of you who spent time with Jeff tonight, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got lots of people coming here this weekend for the Publix. Hope you spend time with them as well. Can you say goodbye? Pourquoi les gens? Why are the people? That's Canada. That is Canada. Well, visitors from all over, but I can't say from where until they come here and introduce themselves. Well, it's late. We're going to say goodnight. I heard said la merde, it's shit. <laughs> Say 
Say goodbye or good night. That's where I'm hearing talking down the hall. Le service, the service. Ugh. Right. Lots of French coming through, man. I shit you not, I had the word devil. Yeah, so I think that came out, so... And I, I got, had... I got distracted because when we were questioning, all of a sudden these sounds, almost like voices, but like numerous of them, like, like, like there was a full cell block. Oh. started rushing this area and made my heart jump and it froze. And I tried calling it out, but honestly, I was too freaked out to go down to the hall, but then I turned the camera and I ended up going down there. You were calling out some stuff, I don't know, I didn't hear you. But, I mean, I've never experienced that in this jail before. It was loud as if it was, like, coming out of the cell block, and they were headed this way. Oh, yeah? A group of people. How do you uh, close it? Uh, just a switch at the top. At the top? I don't know that that's what. That's just me. Okay, thanks. And I uh, the REM pod went off a few times. And I had a growl coming through when I said, whoa, it went. I think that was around the time, like when you screamed out, that was after, and, I, and you, you know, it was a jump thing when you screamed out like that, but that's nothing compared to what I just experienced. It, it's the growl that came through. It, I, I can't, it, it's not even, uh, it, you know, like the of a death metal singer. It was worse than that. I just hope your audio caught that. I whatever, hope so. Whatever it is I experienced in the hall, I hope your audio picked it up. Oh. I never, I literally thought people were rushing me. Even those mics are really sensitive. Yeah. But I'm going to check on that one. Oh my God, guys. It's, wow. K2 is spiking. <laughs> we got to wrap this up. I'll see you guys on on the outro. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah, you guys forgot to shot my outro. Yeah, I was too excited. That investigation was crazy. Thank you again to Elliot and the Phantoms of Yore. All the information, everything's going to be down in the description box. Go and call them out. Try and go to one of their events. Their events are so incredible. Um, they have all the equipment you need. If you don't have anything, just go. They have everything. Everything is set up. So, yeah. <laughs> go and check all those crazy places they have. And uh, contact Elliot and you'll see he's a great host. So, you guys, it was a great experience. and Not a great investigation for you guys. And until the next time, I'll catch you on the next paranormal.